what is going on everybody? My name is JP Mosby, bringing you guys back to our Pokemon Y Randomized Nuzlocke series for episode number three. And in the last episode, you guys, we made our way through the Santa Loon Forest and our made our way to Santa Loon City, where we also went to Route 22 and got ourselves Tenacious the Pupitar that is chilling in our PC box right now. Uh, and little disclaimer, when I was doing my grinding off screen, I did notice that there was Moltres, in fact, and, and Altarias in this grass, so I was a little salty grinding against those when we could have had one of those and added it to the squad. But with all of our rock and ground types, we didn't need Tenacious on the on the team yet. Not only because uh, it's another rock type, but even it even if it evolved into Tyranitar for the for the uh, the dark typing, we would have just had to wait so long for that. So let's do a t quick team recap before we head into today's gym. So with the grinding, we're gonna start off with Caesar. Our Terrakion with the Grass Pell ability, rocking the newly acquired Smackdown, also rocking Double Kick, Workup, and Quick Attack. Now we have Kylie, our Rhyperior, uh, with the Illuminate ability, rocking Stomp, Tail Whip, Horn Attack, and Fury Attack. Then we have Victor, our Seismic Toad, uh, with Cloud Nine ability, rocking the newly learned Bubble Beam with Supersonic Growl and Round. And then we have Stubborn, our Heracross, that we got last episode with the newly acquired. Aerial Ace, along with the Horn Attack, Leer, and Endure, with rocking the Sand Veil ability. So in today's episode, we're going to take on the gym, hopefully get onto the next route so we can get our next encounter, maybe add something to our squad finally. And if you guys are super excited for that, like I am, make sure you guys mock punch the like button and spatial rend the crap out of that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you guys don't miss a single upload. Now let's get into it. Hey stranger, isn't cruising around on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait. You mean to tell me you don't even own a pair of roller skates? Well then how about this, if you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest, not me, so how about it, do you want a battle? Let's do it, we gotta get in the gym anyway. Hopefully we don't get blown back. So I trained up all of our mons to level 13 because the trainers on the Route 22, I finished all of them up and they had level 9 and 10s, so I wanted to make sure we were ready for the, for the gym battle today. Combuskin. Get out of here. We're going to smack down you to oblivion. Adios. Now, I'm not too worried about being overleveled at all because I have a feeling that uh, Viola's uh, ace is probably going to be around 15, 16, 17-ish area with the percentage increase. Well, wow, that was amazing. You might even be stronger than the gym leader. <sighs> all right, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. And we got the roller skates. All right, listen up. You read the instructions. Okay, we don't need to read the instructions. I know how to. I know how to use it. You use the little joystick. I got you. I feel you, big dog. Now let's hop scotch up in here real quick. And I did relook at the uh, the mart in the Santa Lynn City Pokemon Center again. There's actually two fossils in there we could buy if we get enough money. But we have to make sure that we have the rest of our supplies first. Let's talk to this guy. See if he gives us a fresh water. Uh. Yep, just jump on that pole. We'll go right down there. Are you gonna give me a fresh water? No, he's not. That's unfortunate. I'm I'm really sad that I went through this text again. Yes, I know to jump on the pole. Yes, I know. All right. I just wanted to see if he was gonna give us fresh water. A fresh water. Alrighty. Here we are. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. Let's take on this guy. What's up, fool? Uh, I'm a little nervous. I, I don't want to lose any members in here, but if something like this comes out, we might have some issues. A grass type for sure kind of kind of walls our team a little bit, smacks us around. I'm just gonna double kick this thing. See, it has level 12. The trainers have level 12s. This is insane. Gigalith has hardened. No big problem. We can work with that. We're going to lead with Caesar. Um, just because he has more stab moves than everybody else on our team. Next to Victor. Because uh, like Heracross has Aerial Ace, but that's not stab because he's bug fighting. But it does help with grass types somewhat. A level 14. And I'm pretty sure we get the experience share right after this gym too. So that will be very beneficial. Very beneficial. 
All right, so he has a level 12 starting off. A little worrisome. Uh, can't go this way. Let's yeet ourselves this way. Over yonder, actually. We have to go this way. All right. It's been a fat minute since I've played X and Y, if you guys couldn't tell. Let alone a randomized version of it. Manectric. I'm not too worried about a Manectric. Shija. Level 12 again. Let's go with a Smackdown. That's some good damage. Thunder Wave. Aw. Why are you gonna Thunder Wave my boy here? Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do such things? Such acts of tyranny. Tackle. Don't tackle me, fool. Smackdown. Yoink. Goodbye. Got the experience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, get some of that pocket change. Do I have a paralyzed heal in my bag? I do. Here you go, Caesar. My boy. Alright, so top over here. Fight you, because you're the last one, and then we get to go f smack up Viola in her own gym. Weightlifter, huh? As a superior. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, it's a grass type. We are so screwed. Um, let's. I'm gonna go out and stubborn and aerial ace this thing. Because bug and fighting resist grass, I'm pretty sure. I was gonna say, if he, if he read me and like pulled out Fire Blast, I might have been a little salty. But we got that Rocky Helmet damage. Aerial Ace it. Go, Stubborn. Look at our boy. That's big damage. Look at our boy. Look at that experience. Caesar's level 15. Skitty. I'm gonna set up Kylie for this job, just to kind of spread some of the experience love around. Go Kylie, it's your birthday. Look at her, that's big mama. Skitty, get out of here. I'm gonna stomp your face into the ground. Cha boing. Nah, we didn't get the flinch, that's unfortunate. One point of damage, laughable. Oh, and the Rocky Helmet finishes you off. Get out of here. Get out of here. 100 experience, and her, her experience bar just like sneezed. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, Viola. Are you ready? You ready to catch these hands? I don't think she's ready. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up for the challenge. It's fantastic, just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic. Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss or the blossoming of joy that comes with victory, they're both such great subjects for my camera. Fantastic, this will be just fantastic. Now come at me. My lens is focused on, on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. <laughs> she crazy dog. <laughs> oh, she crazy dog. Alright. So she should have six mons. So I'm pretty sure... Yep, she has six mons. So the randomizer uh, made it so that every like boss trainer, whether it's like Lysander or like the Team Flare admins or uh, gym leaders in Elite Four, will all have six mons guaranteed, just to kind of add some challenge to it. Get out of here, Jerem. I like that we're starting off a little easy, but she's leading with level 12, which is kind of scary. Kind of scary. Goodbye, Jerem. 405 experience. Claydol. Uh, I'm gonna go out into Victor here and bubble beam this thing into a different dimension. Go, Victor. Do your thing, buddy. Claydol. Another another level 12. It has imposter. Whoa. I came on for a little bit there. I'm worried it's gonna. Oh my god. Um. I was worried my game was going to crash there for a second. Uh, so does Claydol take my typing too? With Imposter? I don't know. I'm going to Supersonic. He took my moves. Supersonic. This is, this is a great time. I could use a Grass-type right now. <laughs> it's a great time to use Grass-type. Use Round. 
Yeah, hit yourself. Hit yourself. Round. Ugh, that does like no damage. Alright, let's try Bubble Beam. It did quite a bit of damage for him, so let's try it. Ooh, yeah, that's big damage. Hit itself. That's perfect. That is perfect. Come on, Victor. Oh, she has a potion. Stop. Stop it. Bubble Beam. I don't want to see this clay at all. Get this imposter out of my face. Super Sonic. He just confused me, bro. That ain't cool. Come on, Victor. Come on, Victor. Come on, Victor. No. Victor, come on. I need you to land one more bubble beam, please. Come on, Victor. He didn't snap out. He's round. Uh, I don't like this. I'm gonna heal. Use a potion. If you can do it, I can do it too, Viola. Round again. Alright, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Bubble beam. Not liking this. I don't like your songs. Oh my goodness. Victor, I need you to break out, my guy. I really need you to. Please. Bubble beam. That does some damage, but I need you to break out, Victor. Please. Please, Victor, please. He snapped out. Yes. Get out of here, you imposter. You imposter. Alright. That should be some decent experience for my boy here. Look at that. Level up. Level 14. Level 14. Alright. Ducklet. That's water flying, right? Um, I really don't, I'm gonna go out in a stubborn. I just don't really know what to hit it with. It's not like I have an electric type. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a Raikou right now. Ducklet, another level 12. Aerial Ace. Oh, that's, that's some good damage. Water Sport. That weakens fire type moves, but I don't have a fire type, you silly goose. Or duck, whatever the heck you are. You silly duck. Get out of here. Get off of my screen. Stubborn gets those experience points. Love disc. I'm gonna stay in. I have no reason to switch out for a love disc. All level 12s. So like, I'm right on par with her. I'm not really over leveled in any sense. Cause she could still whip out something crazy. Like a Mega, Gag like a mega Gengar. <laughs> Aerial Ace, get out of here. Yoink. Adios. Hasta la bye bye. Stubborn level, level 14. Let's go. Blissey. Uh, I'm gonna swap out in Caesar so I can double kick that thing. My oh boy Caesar, what's up with you, big dog? Alright, double kick. Oh, look at that damage. It couldn't even eat one. Oh, look at that fat experience. Caesar level 16. Oh my god. Level 17. This man is crazy. Gotharita. That's a ghost type, right? Ghost psychic, I think. Uh, if that's the case, I'm gonna go back out and stubborn. Stubborn and Aerial Ace this baby because Aerial Ace doesn't miss. Level 14 is her ace. So yeah, we're right on par except for uh, Caesar. Caesar's getting all that experience right now. Rough skin. Interesting. It's tickle. She gonna tickle me to death. All right, got the Rita. Get out of my face. What? That did so much damage. What? Get hurt by the Rocky Helmet. Yeah, that's what you get for double slapping me. Fool. You fool. Look at Stubborn. Look at him go. And we just got $2,000. Young trainer, you? No, it wasn't you alone. 
you and your Terrakion have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Look at that bug badge. Look at that badge. We got our first badge, ladies and gents. With the bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yup, even the ones you get from trades. Well, I ain't trading anybody. And we got TM83, Disarming Voice. Cool beans. Cool beans. And she didn't give us infestation, so I'm not going to read this business. Now let's skitty on out of here. Actually, isn't Disarming Voice a fairy type move? It is. Yo, and everybody can learn it. Well, except for Heracross, but Kylie's gonna learn it. All right, it's 40 and it's special. Uh, user does emotional damage to a Pokemon. This tech never misses. Kylie isn't a special attacker, but we need some coverage, especially for Dragon types. So I'm gonna get rid of uh, Fury Attack for Disarming Voice. And then I'm also gonna put it on Victor as well. So let's get rid of something here. I'm gonna say we get rid of Growl, mainly because we don't need it, but we have Supersonic too. So I think that is very, very beneficial. And I love how the TMs in this game don't break after one use, so we can always add it to other team members if needed. Yo, what's up, boss man? Whoa, -ho -ho. would you look at that bug badge? Aha, nice, very nice, future champ. I bet that schmanchy pantsy for professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head up to the Pokemon Lab in Lumios and show it to him, huh? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do because Professor Sycamore gives us a... another starter, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So let's slide in here. Heal up our squad real quick. Heal up our gang. Look at them. Look at them. Those are the goats. Those are the MVPs. Alrighty. So let's throw... I'm throwing Terrakion at the back of the party because he's level 17. But I'm going to put Kylie up front because she's level 13. So she's still a little behind everyone else who's at 14. Uh, how much money do I got, big dog? Four? Four Gs? I'm going to pick up an armor fossil and a root fossil. So when we get to the next town, I think, I think it's before Geosenge Town, I can't remember the name of it. Um, we can go ahead and then restore all those fossils and then we could get so many possible team members. So I'm gonna scoop up, ugh, Great Balls are so expensive. Uh, let's get 10 regular balls. And we get a bonus Premier Ball, so let's scoop up a Great Ball, and then we'll get one more Pokeball. Alright, we got $8 to win my name. To win my name. And I'm pretty sure after Lumio City and those events, we get the Amulet Coin, so then we can go and dress up our character a little bit. Don't forget, guys, I'll make sure to, or, to dress us up so we don't look this, this bland and usual this entire game. What's up, girlfriend? Oh, you. You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids from the Pokemon, or who got a Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? Oh, would you look at that? You got a bug badge. It looks like I might have a new scoop to beat Viola at your age. You really are something, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa, the gym leader you just faced. Oh, Viola is my younger sister. I work as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? And we got the experience share. Let's go. If you have the experience share turned on, all the Pokemon in your team get experience points. Yep, we know. We know. Okay, so before I wrap up this episode here, I want to get our next encounter here on Route 4. And survey says... It's a Mega Scizor! Oh my god! <laughs> it's a Mega Scizor! Oh my goodness. It's a Mega Scizor. Holy crap, um, I don't know what to do with this thing. It's level 9, so I'm gonna stomp it. It's focus energy. Okay, big dog, I see you. Stomp. Does nothing, awesome. Quick attack. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything to me, Scizor. Sorry, dog. Oh, but the rocky helmet. Oh, no, 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 no. 
I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about it. Alright, uh, Scizor, just hop in this ball for me, big dog. Hop on in it. Hop on in it. Mega Scizor! One. Two. Three. Yes! First ball, let's go. Let's go. We have a Mega Scizor on our team. Look at this baby. Ooh, it's Bug Steel. Um, what am I gonna name something like this? Um, if you guys get the reference, let me know down below. But I'm gonna name it Ulric. Because it is a male Mega Scizor, so I'm gonna name it Ulric. Let's scope him out. Our boy Ulric, the Mega Scizor. With quick attack, leer, focus energy, and pursuit, it has drought for some ungodly forsaken reason. Uh, but look at those, look at those defense stat. Oh my goodness! And the physical attack is ridiculous. Uh, so let's get pursuit up here towards the top. And he's holding a mental herb. I don't know what that is. Let's take that and let's scope it out real quick. Take it and scope it out real quick, like. Um. Mental herb. An item to be held by a Pokemon, it snaps the holder out of infatuation. It can only use you once. Yo, that's actually pretty cool. I'll go ahead and just. You can keep it, Ulrich. You can keep it, big dog. Big dog. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back and heal. So now I'm left with a choice because. We have, we already have a bug type in Heracross, um, but Mega Scizor offers us steel typing while Heracross offers us fighting type. So I think until we get more uh, encounters that don't have multiple typings on our team, like we already have two rock types, uh, two ground types, Mega Scizor will be our second bug type. I think I'm gonna leave him on the on the squad for now until um, until we get other variety because obviously we don't have much choice because if I box Ulrich here we're gonna be down to four Pokemon still so I might as well just keep him around and keep the EXP share on him uh, just so he gets some type of leveling um, but I don't plan to use him a whole lot until I decide what to do with him and. Hair across. We got ground rock, bug fighting, water ground, rock fighting, bug steel. So, I mean, we even have the fighting type covered in uh, Terrakion as well. So, Stubborn is just kind of here for right now. Uh, I'd say that once Ulrich, our Mega Scizor, because he looks so dope, uh, I'd say once Scizor gets caught up with the rest of the team, I'm not going to do any grinding with him off screen. He's just going to level up throughout the episodes. Once he's caught up, and we get some other uh, encounters, so hopefully we can fill some of those other typings we need that we actually need, like water and electric and fire, maybe even dragon and fairy. Uh, so once we get some actual more variety on the team through our encounters, I'm probably going to be switching up the team a bit because, in all honesty, I'd probably switch out Rhyperior and Heracross once we get other typings like fire, water, dragon, fairy, etc. Just because, like, right now Rhyperior is struggling. She only she she only has normal type moves besides disarming voice. Stubborn has Aerial Ace, and the rest of them are normal type moves. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna need Stab because you never know what we're gonna face in every battle, which is the the bad part. Like, at least Victor has Stab with Bubble Beam. Caesar has Double Kick and Smackdown now, so he has Stab. Uh, Ulrich doesn't have stab right now, but at least he has pursuit. Like, that's something. And he's a mega scissor, so, like, those stats are going to be through the roof crazy high. So, just to keep that in mind, keep that in thought, we're going to save our game real quick, like. But, yeah, I think that's going to bring us to the end of today's episode. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you mock punch the like button. And also, spatial rend the crap out of the subscribe button. And ring the notifi notification bell yet again, because you guys already know you don't want to miss out on any single video of this series because look we just caught a mega scissor you never know what's going to happen in the next episode so in the next episode we're going to make our way towards lumio city and get that next encounter baby so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys in the next one
Bye-bye.